Right in the heart of Echo Park lies one of the true gems of Los Angeles. Sure. My name is Paolo Davanzo. Um, I'm one of the co-founders and I serve as the executive director of the Film Center and so it'll be our 10 year anniversary next year so I've been there since in its inception. My name is Lisa Marr and I'm the Operations Director at the Echo Park Film Center. Echo Park Film Center is a nonprofit media arts organization and we're very community based. So since day one we've always provided three main services which is we have a small micro cinema that seats about 65 people where we show experimental and documentary films from around the world, usually with the filmmaker in attendance to answer questions. And then we have a retail component um, where we have small format filmmaking equipment for rent and for sale things like Super 8 projectors and cameras and 16 millimeter equipment. And we also have digital equipment as well. Um, but the main um, focus of the Film Center always has been the classes, free classes for teenagers and children in the neighborhood and senior citizens in the neighborhood and then low cost workshops for adults. In the last few years we've also um, incorporated the Film Mobile, which is behind us, which um, is an old school bus that we've converted to run on waste vegetable oil and we've transformed it into a uh, cinema and a film school on wheels. Today, Lisa and Paolo are teaching the kids yeah, about direct to film it's animation. This little thing right here, and it, and it spun around, and when we turned it on, get those things turning. Lisa shows the kids and their parents how to draw each frame directly onto the leader. I some designs like squiggly drawings with different colors. I can kind of go between the lines, but if I want to do something that I want the audience. With everyone working on the same film, it's going to create an amalgamated animation. Sort of like a visual Mad Lib. And of course, what's a film without a soundtrack? Animators will see to that as well. We happen to be located right down the street from where the original film studios in Los Angeles were started. So I still feel that we have that connection to early cinema when it was still a silent format, but it was really this universal language that was able to bring people together of all classes and creeds and races and economic stratas, and people would sit together in a dark room and, and watch light projected and you know, share this really magical experience. And even though we've become uh, a far more sophisticated culture in some ways, and, and we've moved on to other technological advances, there's still something that is magical about gathering people together to make a film and then watch a film together. And um, we saw it today in the workshop that we did with um, some younger kids, and then we've seen it, you know, with, with established filmmakers, and it all comes together in this really amazing communal experience, which I love. After an hour's hard work, it's finally time to showcase this masterpiece. Soundtrack and all. People can help just by coming in and, and watching a film with us. That's the easiest way to get involved, be part of a community that appreciates this medium. Um, we are trying to use film on film as much as we can before it disappears, so find out about it, come and support it. Of course, we also show a lot of digital work too, but come, come and be part of our cinema audience. And from there, there's so many things that people can do. You can get involved with ticket taking, you can take a class with us, you can spread the word, you can help program. Uh, you can get involved with our lending library. There's so many ways and we welcome all kinds of participation.